It's just such good news, guys. So me and Isaac and Fedor are on our way to the gym and we are obviously going to do a like a workout so I'm taking Fedor to Mums and Bubs and Isaac's doing what he's doing and then what are we doing? We're going to the op shops and the shops to look for some chef hat, a chef hat and chef pants if we can find them or we all have to buy them brand new because Isaac has a job trial shift with the wedding company and today it's Friday today so we find out whether or not Isaac gets the job at um, the pizza shop so it's exciting news so we're pretty confident about the two jobs alright guys so we have finished the gym and now we are on our way to the shops to find some chef clothes for Isaac my hair is so gross it's really oily my skin's terrible no makeup not washed hair but you know what I don't care I can be labeled a mum in my sports gear whatever sometimes you just have those days and it's okay you just gotta love yourself accept it I'm in a really good mood just exercised so we're going great Alright guys, I look completely different and that's because I just did a quick outfit change in the car. I actually found this really nice Tree of Life dress from the Salvos, so I bought that. This was $8 and I was like, you know what, I'm feeling really self-conscious in my, my um, like sweatpants and like, you know what I mean. You know how you're just having those days where you just don't feel like you yourself? Well, yeah, I just, that's what, another reason why I chucked on this hat was because my hair is really oily and it kind of like covers it up. So we're going good, guys. We're going good. Um, yeah, this was the only thing we got in the op shop. Didn't we didn't have any chef stuff. Yeah, we didn't find any chef stuff, no hats or pants. So Isaac was going to get some suit pants, but they're too tight. Isaac's just chugged on the way, which is a good thing. That was what he wanted. Just got complimented on my outfit. Little does she know that behind this hat is a greasy mop and some smelly armpits. Isaac concentrating hard on driving. Guys, Isaac just turned off on the wrong turn and now we're going to Sydney instead of Newcastle. Yep, we're going for a bit of a drive. Isaac, how'd you manage that? I don't know. I just saw the sign and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, we live in Sydney. We just got home and there was so much traffic guys. Isaac had to rush off to work because the traffic made him late but um, now I'm just at home and their place is an absolute pigsty. I have to clean it up. I have so much washing to do, so much washing to fold. I have washing on the line that has honestly been on the line for like seven days because it's just rained and I've just been like, whatever. The perks of not having a dryer, can I just say? And our bedroom, our bedroom honestly needs a deep clean because Theo had a little accident so I had to wash all our sheets, our blankets, pillowcases, you name it. And I have a client coming tomorrow, so I have to make this house be in tip-top shape. So I'm going to get changed into something more cleaning worthy. And, you know, I actually wanted a shower, but I might leave that till afterwards because I'm going to be cleaning anyway, so I might work up a sweat, if you know what I mean. And Theo is just making the biggest mess of his snack. Yeah, you meant to keep it on the plate. All right, well, so I just wanted to show you what we got from T2. T2 is one of my favorite shops. I'm a tea addict. And we got this on special for half price. It is the cream brulee. And it actually isn't the loose leaf. It comes in tea bags. So I'm going to try one of them now because it looks and smells delicious. Tea time. 
time. Mm, this is really good. It is just really caramelly. Tastes kind of like dates in a liquid. It, it's good, guys. Gotta try it. I just wanted to show you what we got for Theo for Halloween. So we did get him this little touch and feel book, which is super cute. So that way he can still like celebrate, <laughs> celebrate Halloween and still have like something to look forward to. It has like a little put it at. And yeah, I just feel like this is super cute and something really nice to get out when it's Halloween. Really good news guys. And I am so excited. I feel like so much stress has like, just been lifted off our shoulders. I just got off the call with Isaac because he's headed off to work and he called me and he got the job at the pizza restaurant. They said as many hours as he needs. So it's perfect for our family. And I feel like it's just, it's just such good news guys. Like I, I just so like I'm getting teary because the amount of stress that you have when you have a big financial responsibility and then your main income is disappearing. It's just, it's so stressful guys and these last few weeks I've just been fretting so bad I just like don't know how we would have paid for our rent and any other expenses let alone our food bill and gosh guys we spend so much on food but um and like it was getting to the point where we're like we're considering canceling our trip to America and not even gonna do Christmas because we would have been behind on everything and just everything was like I felt like everything was hitting us at once. And I felt like I just tried so hard to have a positive mind frame through all this time. And it has really come out the other side. And I'm just so happy, guys. Like, it's just such a relief. And I'm not going to get teary. I'm not going to get teary because, no, I'm not going to. So we're going to get back into the cleaning. I'm in a good mood now. I'm just sterilizing the bottles and I... I'm not gonna move them yet because they're really hot, but I do need to wipe down this bench. It's kind of kind of grotty, but I'm gonna wipe down the other benches while we're waiting on this. So I have all of these cloth nappies to do, so I'm gonna do that now, and then I have all of this washing outside, all on the line. I don't even know if the line stuff's dry yet but we'll, we'll have to see. So that's gonna be fun. Can't stand folding laundry. Bear's just been a bit of a grabby boy. Aiden is picky. Fluffy Steve is wanting some. You really want some, don't you, Fluff? Guys, you've got no idea how hard it is to clean with a toddler. 
Actually, you probably do if you've got one or if you've had one. I swear, I'm running around doing the same thing over and over again and it's just not getting cleaner. So I'm gonna do the floors because I feel like if the floors are like clean, then it just makes the house feel so much cleaner. So my vacuum seems to be blocked up and like, look at all this gross hair in here. So I'm gonna try and attempt to get all this out. Bath, guys. I'm going to clean up the bathroom while I'm in here. I actually like to do this quite often, not like deep clean, but just wipe down all the surfaces and um, spray like down the shower and the squeegee it. And it's really fast, it normally takes me five minutes, and that way Fedor can play in the bath. I'm watching him. So I always keep rags and my multi purpose cleaner under the sink in both bathrooms and the kitchen. That way I don't have to run out and get cleaning products. It's already there. <laughs> Are you helping? Guys, this is what real life's like when I have to clean the house, when I have beer. I like the days when, oh my gosh, no, don't eat the vacuum. <laughs> oh, guys, no, we don't eat the vacuum. Yeah, so this is what it's like. I'm, I'm running around like crazy. Normally I can give him something to eat and he's content, but we're in the witching hour, so. So I thought it would be fun to read the new Halloween book. So we're going to have our milk kids. going to read a book and then we're going to go to bed, aren't we, Bubba? Theo is down now and I'm actually going to just chuck dinner on the stove. Tonight we are having this, um, it's like a vegan mince, like a mock meat. So we had it the other day. We made patties, so it's already opened. But I was going to make like a spaghetti bolognese. So I'm going to chop up some onions chuck the pasta on the stove and mix that in and add some veggies and of course some sauce. So that should be fun. And I'm curious to see what it tastes like as a bolognese because I haven't had like a vegan bolognese before. So this is the mince and it looks very real but it's 100% plant-based and it's actually in the meat section in Woolworths. So I don't know, I'll show you the actual like mince. Like, it looks so gross, guys. This is the finished product, guys. It's looking pretty good. It's still a bit hot, so I'm not gonna taste it straight away. You guys, the texture is so similar to mince. I, to be honest, I can't even remember what it tastes like, but this is what it tastes like in my head. It's kind of scary, <laughs> but I'm, I'm actually really curious to see what it tastes like um, to like a meat eater. I'm seriously so pooped. I just, I don't know. I, Daylight savings is really like throwing my sleep pattern about, so I'm like super tired lately. So I think I might leave mopping until tomorrow morning. Um, I just have not got the energy to do it tonight, but I think I'm just gonna have like some downtime, just chill on the couch, just embrace the peace before Isaac gets home. And um, yeah, I just, just chill. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a very like mundane, um, day in the life pretty casual um but amazing news so i'm really happy about that um let me know in the comments down below if you have any particular video requests for vlogtober um if you like me just doing heaps of vlogs or you like the more formal videos as well at the moment i'm just doing a mixture of 
like formal videos vlogs and cleaning videos because i know you love cleaning videos guys yeah so i'm gonna like shut my lips at the moment because i just keep rambling on and i will see you in the next video if you liked this video don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you are new here bye guys